Welcome back everyone to another video, my name is Fabio, and today, well, I made my first character rig using the master controller in Toon Boom, so it's just a head, but I wanted to go in and kind of show you guys what I did, how I built it, what worked, what didn't work, stuff like that. So, it could be fun, let's check it out. Here's the rig, it's pretty simple, it's just the head, I didn't want to be concerned about rotating the whole body, so it's basically just... The, the eyes here, the mouth, the head, and the neck and the shoulders, right? So we can go into more detail on how I rigged these in another video. Let's focus down here on our actual controllers. We have one uh, for the pupils and one for the actual head. Let's look at the head one first, I'll show you that. Just click it here, click this button to show. And here is the actual controller with this red dot. If we drag it around, we can move the head in all these directions, which is super great and it saves a lot of time. So how did I actually do this? Let's look at the timeline for this now. So if we go down here, I deformed each piece of this head into the different views and then I keyframed it on my timeline. So I went in and did the front, the, the left and right front three quarter view. And then I went in and did the up and down for each view. So here's the front, down, up, right three quarter, down, up, left three quarter, down, up. So and I made sure for the left and right, I didn't just flip the head. I actually went back and deformed it separately just so when everything tweens together, you don't get that weird flipping. I just didn't want to deal with that. So it took a little bit more time, but I figured it'd be worth it in the end. So after I keyframed each position on the timeline, what I did was I selected, oops, I selected all of the nodes in the node view that have to do with the head. So everything right up to the head master peg, I selected everything. And then I went up to my master controller toolbar and clicked this grid wizard. So this kind of what, what you do here is it connects the controller to the head, right? So then all I had to do now is match these points to my, uh, my views. So for example, this center point, I matched it with the center view, uh, screen left point, I did the screen left view, and so on. So once I had everything filled out, I just chose which composite I wanted to store it in, and then I just created my uh, controller. And that's how easy it was. So basically all the work that you have to do comes in when you're creating your, your views. Once you create these views, the controller does all the tweening for you. That was the head. But I also wanted to move the pupils independently. So let's show that now, right? The, I wanted to do that with the pupils and all I did was the exact same thing. I selected a different spot on my timeline and keyframed all my pupil positions. And then I went up to my node view and I selected just my pupils. So instead of selecting the whole head, I selected only the two pupils that I wanted to move, pressed my controller, to make a controller for those pupils, right? And then the steps are the same. Match these points to the pupil views, selected my composite, and then it created the controller. So some things flip a little bit, like the, the bun up there at the top and the nose, it, it swaps drawings a little bit, uh, like the drawing swap is a little bit jarring but you just go in and fix that when you're animating. You gotta finesse that a little bit. Whenever I actually wanna move these controllers around, whenever I get rid of them and bring them back, they're in their original position. So, so I don't really know how to keep them in place, but whatever, hopefully someone can <laughs> tell me how that works. So yeah guys, I just wanted to show you um, a quick breakdown of this rig. I'll try and do an in-depth tutorial in a little bit 
starting from scratch and making all the parts. But I just wanted to show you that master controllers, although they look intimidating, they're really not that difficult to get started with. All you really need to do is make sure you have your poses keyframed and make sure you're selecting the correct nodes in the node view. If you have any questions or even comments on some good tips when you're using master controllers, comment them below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Feel free guys, experiment with these controllers in your own rigs, have some fun, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you everyone for watching. I really, really appreciate the support. If you guys want, you can find some other videos you might like over here. But that's it for now, so happy animating, and I'll see everybody in the next video.